What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Triple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing Saturday. It's March 16th. The weekend is here, and it is conference tourney finals day. I'm excited for that. I can't wait to watch the UConn game later tonight at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. In this episode, we're going to talk about the flipping in. Because yes, indeed, it did happen. Wait till you see what I'm talking about. We're going to go over Bitcoin and the Bitcoin chart and where we're going. We're going to hear from Keith. I'm going to give you all the information that you need to know. What's going to happen to the markets in the next coming weeks, folks? Because as each and every single day passes, we move closer to that parabolic blow up top for Bitcoin. We move closer to that rotation into all coins. And we move closer to the massive pump that is going to be coming to X. R.P. Sam Bickman Fried, how many years do you think that he should face in jail? Well, the DOJ gave us an answer, and I tend to agree with them. Sit back, relax, let's do it. Bitcoin, $67,994. It's currently down 0.63% in the past hour, but it's up 0.2% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum, coming in at 3668 It's currently down 0.44%. USDT and USDC both coming in at their dollar pegs as XRP is a mean lean 62 cents. It's down 0.25%. Total cryptocurrency market cap coming in at $2,612 trillion. Now markets, they're in a... They're in a very weird, weird, uh, weird predicament right now, right? Bitcoin's under the 2017 or the 2020, 2021 all time high. We've already broken it for the first time ever before Bitcoin having. We touched a little over 73,000. So now it's kind of like, where does Bitcoin want to go? We know the halving's about what, uh, four to six weeks away. So we know the halving is coming. We usually see when the halving hits that the Bitcoin price will retrace before it makes its final push up. So where are we going to sit? Where, where is Bitcoin going to sit? I think Bitcoin's just going to trend into this range, but I do think we get to that $80,000 range a lot quicker than people think. What does that mean for the rest of the market? Well, I think we can see a little bit of downtrend for the rest of the markets right now. But I do believe... Overall, we're looking at just a range. It's going to be a choppy, choppy range. It's going to be dirty. It's going to be filthy. It's going to be choppy, folks. Just get ready and strap on in. Girl Gone Crypto says the real flipping has occurred, folks. Look at this. Bitcoin outshines Taylor Swift in Google searches. If you're going to talk about the flipping, this is the flipping. When Bitcoin flips Taylor, it's over. It is absolutely over. Let the bulls run. That's what I'm saying right here. If you didn't hear about the news yesterday, there you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Lux Lions TCG World Metaverse partnership deal is ink deal is signed. Listen, I'm gonna start putting out information for this because their WebGL, which is just a web browser based game built in Unity, where you can access the metaverse, it is up. It is free. It is free. Did I mention it's free? Sign up now because as it's free, you want to get your account. So you have a free account. If it does ever move to a paid membership, you're going to have to pay. That's why you get the free account now. Even if you don't use it, you sign up for it. So you have it. So you get the grandfather, right? It's an awesome, awesome place. Here's a little tip, a little hint. And I'll show this off one stream. If you go into the stadium, you might see a special surprise. Check that out. People have already found it. A payment message in the ISO 20022 standard messaging language explain. Corium Official has a new simulator on the website. No magic. It says XML. The main reason for the adoption push, not for your crypto, but for central bank digital currencies and stable coins. This is pretty big. Folks, we are seeing the adoption of CBDCs. We're seeing the adoption of these stable coins. It is just all coming to life. All of it. Everyone fought for the longest time central bank digital currencies. Now everyone's all for CBDCs. It's just like when they fought Bitcoin. Bitcoin's going to die. We've heard that about 92 times. No one's going to adopt Bitcoin. Bitcoin's not going to be used. And now look at it. Central bank digital currencies taking the same narrative here. No one's going to create a central bank digital currency. No one's going to use a central bank digital currency. The world doesn't want central bank digital currencies. That's all changing. It's all changing. Credible 
Crypto says $200 million worth of Bitcoin bids on Binance, perhaps waiting in that 63 to 64,000 zone he mentioned last week. So what is he thinking? He's thinking we might see a dip in Bitcoin, 63,000 to 64,000 because there's over $200 million sitting down there. What are we at? 68. Well, we just touched 67. Could we see this push down? Could this be the dip that we're talking about to that $63,000 zone? Obviously, it's going to drag the rest of the market with it. I'll tell you right now, I'm eyeing ADA. I am eyeing it. I'm going to be buying a crap ton of Cardano. I know. I know. I've talked about it before. I actually sold a lot of Cardano in the past and I flipped it on the H bar. I know I should have jumped up Cardano was around that 23 to 30 cent range, but it's not too late. This one's going to be an absolute a monster. So I'm looking into it. I mean, I've been seeing this float around 70 to 75 cents. When it moves, it really does move a lot. It's tough. But you know, for me, because I'm not a trader, this range right here, I'm perfectly fine with. Maybe this thing dips down into the 60 cent range, but to be honest with you, it's just not worth the headache to me. I'd rather buy it at 70 cents. I'm pretty comfortable buying this thing at 70 cents. I think we're looking at a major price increase during the bull run for this that I'm going to be happy with, you know, with 10 to 20x on it, and I'll be very happy making that type of money. But to me to sit here and eyeball this thing, hoping it goes down even lower, it's just not worth it. I'm not a trader. I am buying, I am holding, I am selling when the bull run comes to an end. That's how simple it is. Here's a recording of Vitalik Buterin talking with Stephen Roth about the mistakes of letting Charles Hoskins leave Ethereum. This is just a short clip from almost a three hour long conversation. And this clip, they are realizing Charles is the solution to resurrect Ethereum. Has everyone been keeping up on this? Steven Neroff is coming out, no holds bar, he doesn't care, he's he's pretty much telling you the whole like scam and security behind Ethereum, he's just letting loose. He's even stated, he'll go on anyone's crypto show that they want, anyone's YouTube channel they want, He ask him anything, he's not holding back anymore, listen to this. I mean, Gav, Gav does, he does not want to be the CEO and he does recognize the need for a strong business character in to compliment him in whatever he in what he what he is going to be doing. So, in yeah, if if Charles if Green Guard Charles is the answer for that, then that's something that we'll obviously have to talk about a lot more. I I really think it is. I mean, I I I know I know I I can I'm confident in this. Me working with Charles, if he had a clear mandate, and you and like. A clear mandate where he was given, um, where he was given basically autonomy to do what he needed to do. There is so much crap behind this Ethereum thing with Steven Neroff. It's just shocking to me that these major news outlets haven't picked this up. Now I showed this to you the other day. This was Keith. Keith talked about the XRP chart. I now want him to give you an update on where Bitcoin is going and what Bitcoin looks like moving forward. He is comparing the last bull cycle to this bull cycle. He's going to compare the parabolic blow off tops for the total amount of crypto. I want you to really sit back and listen to what he's saying and the amount of money that is going to pour into these markets. Listen up. We can pull a FIB all the way back. And I'm actually going to flip to the weekly just for a second so I can fit all this on the screen. This is why log mode is so important and linear mode loses its mojo when you have these big moves like this. That can't be, you don't have enough room to fit it on the chart. So I'm going to go from the high in the previous bull market to the low in the bear market. And I'm going to drag it to the right. All right. That ended up being roughly 2.272. All right. For that to happen this time, I want you to understand how much money that's going to be. An astronomical amount of money. Here's total market cap so we can keep track of this while we're doing this. I want you to keep up with me here because it's going to seem weird at first, but bear with me. I oh, didn't mean to draw that. So I've got total market cap here. Three boxes where I think the price will go by this year. I'm hoping by this year we get up to this level. $7.2 trillion by this year. You see the blow off top levels up here. That's 18 trillion and 12 trillion. All right, back to Bitcoin. Here's the 2020 chart or the 2024 chart that we have. You already said possible parabolic blow off tops. 
Now listen where that would take Bitcoin. Now, I'll flip that to the weekly as well. And we'll pull the same fibs that we pulled on 2020, 2016 over to 2024, all right? Same way. Top of the bull market, bottom of the bear market. We'll drag it over four years, just like we do every single cycle. That would be roughly the end of 2025-ish, all right? Those levels are, for the blow-off top, 315,000 and 473,000. Do you understand how much money that is? That's a 5X and an 8X from where we're at now, roughly. Just to the 1618, 175,000 is $7 trillion in the total market. So, in my opinion, that's where we are going. 7 trillion total cryptocurrency market. Bitcoin, around $177,000. If we get to that $7 trillion market cap, folks, A, I don't think we ever see a big, uh, bull run again. You know, institution securities are going to be very stable markets. You're not going to see these tokens on these exchanges do 5, 20, 50 Xs. I also believe that we are going to see a ton of altcoins really just outperform Bitcoin. Sing out Bitcoin from here. 70,000, we'll call it. If it gets to that 177, I mean, what are you looking at? 2x, you can call it. 7.21, not even. A one and a half x right? 7, if it does doubles again, 140. XRP, Cardano, XLM, they're going to, they have 5 to 20 x's in them. A lot of assets are going to outperform Bitcoin, but a lot of people are getting excited about Bitcoin because they see the big number. It's not about that big number. Right. If you bought one Bitcoin today at seventy thousand dollars and you sold it as all time high, well, or it's new all time high, we'll call it one hundred seventy seven. You did a one and a half x. Yeah, maybe it looks good to say, well, Bitcoin. I own a Bitcoin is worth one hundred seventy seven thousand dollars. That's great. But if you put that same money into something that did just a five x, you made a crap ton more money. It's about the x's here, folks. It's not about these numbers. Remember that. Pay attention moving forward. I'm going to leave it like that. Listen, wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.